to another video here at Justin's Fish Room. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm in the kitchen, and no, it's not because I'm making more fish food this time. Today, we're gonna to be actually going around to all the different fish tanks, and we'll be feeding them, just so you guys can like kind of understand what I do um, with the feeding rounds, what I feed, and how much. So, I hope you enjoy this video, and let's get stuck into it. Okay, so we're at the main community tank, and most of you guys know this tank because of the GBRs. Um, there's been heaps of breeding going on in this tank and the other GBR tank, well, ram tank. And in this tank, there's Chopre Danios, um, there's Altua Ones, and yeah, GBRs, and some Cory Catfish as well. So this tank kind of gets a, a bit of a mix of. Um, I just noticed some GBR spawning actually. Um, we'll get some footage of that too. This tank gets a mix of uh, flake, uh, which is high protein flake, so it's about 35% I think, but closer to 40% you can get the better. And some of our discus food. So let's go ahead and get them fed. So here you can see uh, I'm breaking up the food for the rams. And the reason why I break it up is because if I just left it in one big lump of food, the bigger rams would bully the juveniles and chances are they wouldn't get that much to eat. So it looks very messy and I'm not going to lie, it is very messy food, but this tank, I can assure you, gets a lot of water changes, uh, frequent water changes every uh, day or two, so that's, that's probably why I can get away with feeding so much. You can see on the screen there is a lot of juvenile rams, including that beautiful female blue black there and that female GBR <clears throat> and yeah so these rams are between two and five months old or approaching five months old and so there's a lot of different ages there but they all live quite harmoniously together and they do establish a pecking order after a while but um, yeah there's hardly any squabbles among them so one of the biggest things uh, with feeding this food, as I said before, is to make sure that you maintain really good uh, water conditions in the form of doing frequent water changes. See, it's a bit of a take and give with feeding such high protein food, uh, such as the wet food. And I recommend you go and have a look at that video that we did on how to make um, affordable uh, fish food. But the give and take is your fish look amazing, they get brilliant colors, they're very, very healthy fish, but you do need to um, make up for it with quite a few water changes and um, doing a bit more vacuuming of the substrates and that sort of thing. But as you can see, these fish are, for, su for such young fish, they're actually looking quite amazing and their colors are popping, which is what we want to see as uh, hobbyists and breeders. Uh, you can see one of the brilliant males that I'm going to be using for breeding just over there. So here I'm feeding the Alto One Plecos that live in that log. I couldn't get any footage of them, unfortunately, but this is how I feed them. And it's to prevent the rams from eating the bloodworms as I take the worms down to the log. As you can see, some of these rams have no shame and they just go straight into that log and start eating those bloodworms. Okay, so once these guys are done their discus food <clears throat> and the Alto Ones have finished their um, blood worms. I will then come back after I've fed all the other fish and give them some high protein flake. Um, the Alto ones, you saw me giving the blood worms with a pipette, and it's because if I actually just put my hand in there, put the blood worms um, in the log, as I'm pulling my hand through the water column and it's defrosting, the smell spreads throughout the tank and the rams just start attacking it. So it's a way of me kind of giving the Alto One Plecos a chance to actually eat their food uh, before the rams just absolutely, you know, demolish it. So if you're wondering why I feed with a pipette, that's why. Um, by the way, those are probably the most useful tools. I have to do a video on um, all the different cool tools that I use uh, that I buy from like a $2.80 $2 store. Um, that's for another time. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed the next ram tank. 
So here I'm just breaking up the food again. This tank doesn't get nearly as much food as the other community tank because there's fewer fish in here and there's less water volume. Um, there are still two filters in here. There used to be a sump, but then this tank also houses the Altoa One Fry. So um, I had to get rid of the sump, otherwise they would have been sucked up. But yeah, these are the black rams and the blue blacks. And weirdly enough, these pairs seem to stick to their own um, color morph. So they've paired up mostly with, um, like, for example, one of these uh, really dark black ones um, will pair up with a really dark black one and the blue blacks will pair up with the blue blacks. So it's quite handy actually just to have a, a big group of them in a tank and um, they do the line breeding for me. You can see her females actually getting ready to lay tonight, which is pretty cool. So here I have some baby albino bristlenose and I'll be showing you soon how I feed these. Uh, this male has been doing a great job at producing babies. We've got hundreds of them at the moment. And we have the pairs of peppermint bristlenose as well, which um, are very close to laying eggs and I'm very happy with their progress. Okay, so uh, this tank is acting at the moment as a bit of a pleco slash bristlenose um, breeding tank. Um, unfortunately, this tank is in a deconstructed state at the moment. I'm kind of just keeping some driftwood pieces in here just to keep them bulked. And I have a few little bits of moss and things in here. Um, but essentially, these guys, because there's a heap of fry, as you can tell, um, these guys get some discus food. It's high protein. It's really good for them. There's some vegetable matter in there, so they grow really quickly. Um, and they also get some algae wafers. So I'm going to go ahead and give them these two different things and yeah, see, um, hopefully we'll see them gorge themselves. So you can see the male's pretty happy there at his cave and got some footage of the babies eating this protein snack uh, just as proof because they just love it and I believe it's helped them grow so quickly. These bristlenose are only about, I don't know, three weeks old and they're already so big. They have some wafers there just to uh, fill them up throughout the night. They can kind of feast on those in the evening. And here's some footage of my shrimp as uh, I love my shrimp and they're pretty cool. Just feed them some shrimp pellets. You know, they eat some mulberry leaves and that sort of thing. Hitchhike on some snails. They're pretty cool to have and I would recommend them to anyone uh, who's new to shrimp keeping, especially the cherries or the neocaridinas. They're pretty cool. I might have to do another video on that soon. So in the breeding tanks, in the tannin tanks, here's a albino cori and they just get some sinking pellets and this is the GBR breeding tank, so they get some discus food and some flakes. Okay everyone, so there you have it. We have fed most of the fish. I got to um, show you guys one of the GBR breeding pairs in the breeding room. Um, also, I haven't shown you all of the fry that I have at the moment, because um, I've got quite a few projects at the moment that I really want to show you guys later. You've seen me feed the discus food that we made in the previous videos um, and you've seen how much they love that food. They just go crazy for it. They basically go in my hand when I've got my hand in the water to feed it to them. You also kind of know sort of what types of fish I do have uh, in my aquariums and what fish I'm breeding and quite strangely uh, quite a few different types of rams have been breeding tonight, spawning tonight, which is very unexpected. They've only just spawned, so yeah, we've got two spawns that I know of, one in that tank there, and a GBR spawn in this tank. So we'll definitely be taking these spawns out and hatching them, because we haven't even reached capacity yet for spawns, so that's great. Thank you for all your support. Always appreciate uh, your kind and positive comments. Always appreciate getting to know you all. I've had so many people contact me on Instagram and Facebook. And we've just had some pretty cool chats about breeding rams, keeping fish, just 
you know, random stuff too. Uh, it's been great. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, that just makes a world of difference for me um, in creating these videos for you. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.